Howdy folks, Doc here with LastPass Tool. And in the Harbor Freight world, uh, there is often a direct comparison between the Harbor Freight tools, such as this Pittsburgh wrench, with another brand of tool. And not only is it to the just the brand, it's also to the specific model and even an advertised price. So my question is, why don't they compare everything to Snap-on? Why not? That seems to be the biggest thing. Unless Snap-on doesn't make it, then, well, Knipex. So why doesn't Pittsburgh compare themselves to Snap-on in the Harbor Freight world? Uh, if they both tighten and loosen bolts, really, what is the difference? And I just kind of rolled with it for the longest time, just thinking, well, of course, you can't make the comparison here. That's just, there are differences. And those differences are significant enough that if they... Uh, made if they said this Pittsburgh is comparable to the snap-on it would be a very easy thing to argue well maybe or maybe not because there is a statistical anomaly uh, let's talk about it here for a sec run into the weeds but I've got a craftsman here a Milwaukee a Husky a snap-on and a Pittsburgh and arguably you could put these into some sort of um, of a ranking, let's say we're pretty sure Pittsburgh's on the bottom and we're pretty sure, at least in my world, Snap-on's on the top. Uh, let's say Milwaukee is above uh, Husky, Husky's above Craftsman, Craftsman's above Pittsburgh. Now, of course, you can argue uh, you know, some, the nuances here, but the statistical uh, strangeness is when you run some sort of a, a, statistic, a statistical analysis, you have to decide what the amount of difference that you'd have to find uh, would be where you could say that is statistically significant. If it's statistically significant, then they are different. If it is not significant, then they are not different. Even if one has a higher score, the score is not big enough or far enough away to say they are actually different. And generally, we use about 5% in statistics. So what you could argue here is the Snap-on and let's say the Snap-on and the Pittsburgh um, are across a bunch of measures, maybe 15% different or 20% different. You know, this is 20% harder. It's 20% finer tolerance. It's 20% more chromium. It's 20% uh, less bendy. It's 20% stronger if you uh, you know run a destructive test, whatever. So 20% you could say they are significantly different. But what if you took these two, the Craftsman and the Pittsburgh, and you, let's say there was a 3% difference. Maybe this, this performed 3% better than the Pittsburgh. If that was the case, then statistically, according to my 5% cutoff, they're the same. Okay, that's not too big a stretch. But what if you took that Craftsman and you compared it to the Husky? And the Husky and the, the uh, Craftsman, there was a 4% difference. So they're technically different, but statistically the same. Why? Because that 4% isn't 5% or more, so that was my threshold cutoff. It's something where statistics is, you know, is kind of like a leap of faith. You just have to buy into the philosophy of it. But technically, these two would be identical. Now, of course, if there's a 4% difference here and a 3% difference here, now we're at 7% difference here. So if there's a 7% difference, you could say these two are not the same. But you could argue that this is the same as the Craftsman. The Pittsburgh's the same as the Craftsman, and the Craftsman's the same as the Husky. Well, what if you took the Husky and the Milwaukee, and now the Milwaukee is, um, let's say, 3% uh, better than the Husky. Well, technically, the Milwaukee and the Husky um, are the same. There's not a big enough difference to say they are, they are significantly different. Statistics would, you know, when you run whatever measure you're using, there is not enough of a difference in order to claim um, that they're significantly different. Therefore, they're the same. These, so the Milwaukee's the same as the Husky, the Husky's the same as the Craftsman, the Craftsman's the same as the Pittsburgh. Well, now you go up here to, say, this Milwaukee and this Snap-on and you run all the tests, and let's say there's a 4% difference between these two. The Snap-on is not significantly different than the Milwaukee. If the Milwaukee uh, is only 4% less 
across the measures, of course, there are people who would say maybe it's 4% better, whatever, okay. But either way, they're statistically the same. There is not a big enough difference across any of the measures, whatever those measures are, uh, to say that they are significantly different. However, this one is significantly different than this one, than this one, than this one. But this, these two are not significantly different. And these two are not significantly different. And these two are not significantly different. So technically you could kind of, through a bunch of hoops, you could argue that Pittsburgh is not significantly different than Snap-on, sorta. Anyway. Just a little uh, afternoon statistical musings, but I often wonder how come Pittsburgh doesn't just write up and say, let's just compare ourselves to Snap-on, you know, unless you're going to point out exactly what the difference is, you know, it doesn't really matter. You can say you're the same as anybody else unless you get to the, that statistical difference and then it comes down to syntax because you could argue, um, you know, that they're the same. Sorta. Of. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. I know you will. And with that, Doc out.